Hey guys, it's Michelle Martinez here and welcome back for another video. Today we are in my possibly new unboxing corner. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit since this is where I house most of my uh, packaging and because I have a uh, hard time throwing away boxes for electronics because you never know. So this might be a regular thing. Uh, so today's video, we're gonna be unboxing something that Craft and Ride sent over. So this video is sponsored by them, super excited. They really just sent this over to get my opinion on something I actually don't really know exactly what it is, but it's for the one wheel pint. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So it's kind of already opened. So let's see what it is. I'm really excited. Right, so we got the normal craft and ride packaging in here. More stickers. I actually just put the sticker on my one wheel pipe fender, so that's really awesome. All right. <laughs> um, surprisingly, this box is really heavy. Craft and ride. Let's get this open. Whoa. Okay. Okay. What is this? This feels heavy. So. It's some sort of bag. Let's open up the main package here. Whoa. It's like a lot of stuff in here. It's a bag within a bag. Dangerous. So that's the inside of this. Let me go ahead and quickly open up the front zipper pocket. Okay. So is this kind of like a messenger or possibly, is this like a really huge hip bag or something? All right, now let's see what this is. It's rolled up nicely in there, so that's kind of cool. Ooh. Is this to hold my, my actual pints in here? Oh. Wait, I'm confused, what is this? Okay, is it a backpack style? Whoa. I think it is. So I think it's like a backpack style or you can carry it like this for the pint. Let's see here. I don't know what these straps do. Oh, yeah. All right, how do I, where do I open this? I found a zipper. Let's see where this leads. Okay, so this zipper is just to expand. Okay, what does this zipper do? Whoa. Also, to expand. I wonder if this is like if you have fins or something. Ooh. Now I see another little zipper on the side here. Is this also just an expander? Oh no. Okay, so this one's a real pocket. I'm sure you can probably put the charger in here or more accessories. So, is this another? Okay, so these two expand out. Um, I still, how do I get in? Oh, here it is. Okay, these are the main zippers. What? This is so cool. And yeah, I think you literally just place your one wheel here. You have enough space. Um, I think if you do, I'm guessing these are gonna be for the, like, what are they called? Shark fins, which I really, really want, but don't have. Since only one side expands, I'm guessing this is gonna be for the back side of your one wheel pint for, if in case you have like a cush um, padding, you need a little bit extra room and up front is kind of normal. So let's get the pint in here and uh, let's see how it looks. We moved locations because I felt we needed bigger space. I got the pint, got the charger and my helmet. So let's start with the main bag here. And um, let's go ahead and just put the pint in. Whoa. 
I'm guessing you leave it like that. Okay. So yeah, these def that is really, really cool that they did incorporate little like, uh, what is this called? Flap space room for shark fins. Since I don't have any, sadly, I can close this up since I don't need that extra room. And it fits, it's, I feel like it's gonna be a really nice tight fit. I brought the helmet cause I thought maybe it would fit inside of it, but I don't think it's gonna have room. It's pretty snug as it is. Since I don't have like a high kick pad or anything like that in the back here, I can also close off this extra expander. This thing is pretty heavy, even though compared to the XR, it's light, but, oh God. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe I can do some like lunges with this thing. Sorry, there's two straps. Okay. Feels kind of weird on the butt. Like the tail, at least to me, it hits like right in the middle of my butt. Other than that, it doesn't feel terrible. You're not gonna want to go backpacking with this thing, obviously. Again, I don't know if it's just a short person problem, but uh, this, this area is very, very awkward. Kind of uncomfortable. But it feels really good, like the material feels awesome. It doesn't, I don't think it's promoted as waterproof, but it is raining outside, so should we test it out? It feels good, you have room in the bottom pocket for accessories or obviously for better yet, the charger itself. You can probably attach your helmet somewhere back here, but um, yeah, I'm about five foot, so this is what it looks like. And this is awesome, it came just in time because we're going to Mexico. So let's test this out in the rain first and let's see if it's waterproof. So it just stopped raining, but I put it on the ground. The ground is wet. It feels like it'll hold because it's kind of a waxy feeling to it, the waxy material. I have the charger in here. I also put the other bag that this was in inside. That way you can carry it with you with the pint and whenever you get to the destination, you can put this big pack back in a smaller pouch. So here it is, let me flip it over. Seems like it'll clean very easily. It's wet, but I don't think it's going to go through. I mean, it's very well protected, very well padded. I'll look at the specs and try to post them on here exactly what it's made out of, but I'm pretty sure these are like YKK zippers. I don't think any rain is gonna get through here in any of the compartments. Handle seems very, very sturdy. <sighs> Again, this thing isn't light, but it's a lot better than the XR. All zippers, I think, are YKK, so that's really good. I think it's meant to be rough, just as your pint, you know? And I think this will be good for travel, so we're actually going to, to Mexico, so let's see if it'll handle, how it handles on the road and how it'll handle the, um, the dirts in Mexico. So I will see you guys over there.